Hi, my name is Jonathan Rodriguez, and I did my video project on Topic 2, Option 3, Alper and Personological Trait Theory. Let's get started. Gordon Alper introduced three different types of traits in his theory. He said that there are cardinal, central, and secondary traits. We'll be going over to them in this slideshow and how they apply to myself. This is a picture of me taking a nice nap on the FIU emblem, which we're all told that orientation is frowned upon and brings bad luck. What might this reveal about my cardinal, central, and secondary traits? But first, let's get a quick biography of Gordon Alpert. Gordon Alpert was born in Montezuma, India. He earned an A.B. degree in philosophy and economics and a Ph.D. all at Harvard University. So it's safe to say that he was a smart man. Alpert is perhaps best known for his trait theory of personality. He began developing his theory by going through a dictionary and noting every term he found that described a personality trait. After compiling a list of over 4,500 different traits, he organized them into one of three categories. So I'm sure this is what Gordon Alpert must have felt like when he was going through a dictionary, going page by page, looking for personality traits. And when he was done, he made them into three categories, the central traits, the excuse me, the cardinal traits, the central traits, and the secondary traits. Let's go over the first type, the cardinal traits. Cardinal traits are one of a half dozen traits that best describe a particular person. They dominate personality to the point that people are famous for them. Here I have a quote by Gordon Alpert. He says that there is a stu story of an Oxford student who once remarked, I despise all Americans, but I never met one I didn't like. This Oxford student is probably giving all Americans a negative cardinal trait but upon meeting them, maybe realize that they have many positive central traits that he did like. A great example of a cardinal trait, in my opinion, would be Abraham Lincoln, or Honest Abe. He developed cardinal traits later in life, and wasn't always successful at being so honest. Albert believed cardinal traits are rare, and if they appear as a characteristic later in a person's life, it must be a culmination of one's choices, attitudes, and experience. Lincoln had once always failed in business, law, and government. His drive and personality allowed a cardinal trait to develop. He became an honest man committed to freedom and keeping the union together. His love of truth and justice began a movement that led to historical outcomes. Another great example of cardinal traits would be Mother Teresa for her acts of altruism and religious service. She founded the Missionaries of Charity, which consists of over 4,500 sisters. They helped the ill, homeless, orphans, and host counseling programs. Members must adhere to vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience of the vow to give wholehearted and free service to the poorest of the poor. If that's not a cardinal trait for altruism, I don't know what is. Now onto my cardinal trait. Although not to the same degree as Mother Teresa, I do believe in some way that my cardinal trait could be altruism. I'm studying to be a physical therapist at FIU, and I want to have a career of helping others with their mobility, their fitness, and their health. Currently, I'm volunteering with wheelchair athletes training for the Special Olympics. And one day, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to work in a facility like this helping someone walk again. It would be very, very fulfilling. Now, the next part of Alpert's theory were the central traits. Central traits are general characteristics that form the basic foundations of personality, and they must be included to provide a complete picture of human complexity. It's important to note that they are not as dominant as cardinal traits. Here I have a picture of a whole circle made of pieces of different traits. This is the typical layout for a personality in everyday people. And it is very important to note that all central traits are found to some degree in every person. So at one point in your life, you probably felt like one or many of these different smileys. So Gordon Alpert believed that most people have five, maybe to ten different central traits that describe them accurately. I went ahead and picked five. I said that my five traits were athletic, confident, outgoing, friendly, and creative. But myself and anyone else can be all of these to some different varying degree all at once. Now, lastly, uh, his last part of his trait theory were the secondary traits. The secondary traits are also his personal preference, or your personal preference. 
Um, I can illustrate them just with these photos. Um, I love Chinese food, especially orange chicken. That is a personal preference or a secondary trait of mine to like that. Um, I'm sure myself and many others don't like waiting in line. That's another secondary trait that I have. Um, sometimes I get nervous when I speak in front of others and I really like video games. These are all different personal preferences that I have that are, according to Albert, my secondary traits. Well, that covers all three uh, parts of Alpert's theory, and if you were previously unaware, you are now aware. The references are located here, and thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.